these are the people, yeah. these are them. Uh, five of them, they beat my wife. Five of them, they beat my wife. They beat my wife, they throw my kids on the ground. I don't do anything, this thing, uh, the woman beat me, so he said that woman, I get Jenny. Hi beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back on here again. You're awesome, I really appreciate and for those of you who are new on my channel, please do hit that subscribe button now. Thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button. You are really awesome. I appreciate. Before I go on with this topic, I would like to give you some words of encouragement. We are in difficult times. There is a lot of temptation everywhere. But may God give us the wisdom and patience. To resist all this temptation and handle situations properly so that they don't escalate. This video is about a fight that took place in an asylum home in Germany. I can't really show this video here because YouTube doesn't allow such videos. So I can only show you a minor part of what happened there. But believe you me, it was a show of shame. What my people would say, ye ye de smell. It was awful, it was disgusting. Women fighting each other, Nigerian women fighting each other in an asylum home. Beating each other, throwing each other on the ground, abusing each other. And all in the presence of children. All over the premises, children were running around. Little children, children that cannot defend themselves if the problem escalates. In fact, at a stage when this man was videoing this fight, he said that they hit his daughter. But if you really get to look at that video, you will see that it's like everybody is fighting everybody, everybody hitting on everybody here in Germany. How can this be? People that have taken all the risk, maybe their parents have sold property back home. These are Nigerians, so let me say, maybe their parents have sold property back home, have gone to all extent that these children go abroad and make a better life. Even coming here to Germany, most of these people you see fighting, most of these people fighting there, they have taken so many risks, risk their lives, sometimes even the lives of their children, to come to Germany. Now, when you were coming to Germany, did you not ask yourself, how am I going to live in this country? When you go to Rome, you behave like the Romans. How can you be fighting in an asylum home, a place the government gave you to stay, while your asylum is being reviewed. They have not even given most of them their papers. They are still waiting to see if they will be accepted. And you have nothing better to do than to start a fight. Not just two people fighting three, a community fight in that home. The worst part of it is that they are doing this in front of children. Don't you know that if you are fighting, if people are fighting, the police gets involved. But when little children are around, children, especially little children, the case takes another dimension. Now the Jugend Amt in Germany, that's the child welfare, is going to be brought into the picture because you have endangered those children. You, the parents that are supposed to keep your children away from danger, you are bringing the danger to your children. So many children were there. And as far as the authorities are concerned, and as it really was, those children were endangered. They could have been injured. Those children were being exposed to violence. That's a traumatic experience. That's not a good experience for a child. 
So when this video was posted on social media, a lot of people made comments like single mothers, having a lot of children. For me, that's not even really the issue. If you are a single mother and you have children, or you are a married woman and you have children, you have a responsibility towards those children. Please take care of the children. It has nothing to do with being single or being married. Every mother should take care of her children. Every mother should protect her child from traumatic experiences and from violence. In this video, one could see that the security officers had come out. They were trying to settle the fight, but they didn't even know where to start from because it was coming from all directions. Everybody kind of yelling at each other and fighting. There was already an ambulance and I'm sure the police would come. After that, a report will be made to the officers in charge of those people and to the Child Welfare Authority. The next thing you will find is that they will start sending people to monitor those families. They will start looking into your family, looking into the well-being of those children to see if those children are safe. Then from this one fight, when they start entering into the family, from one, they will see like 20 different issues to tackle. Then they will start monitoring you. Even after you leave that asylum home and you think you have your own place to stay, they will continue monitoring you. That's how it functions in Europe. Especially in Germany. Germany is a police state. Once they make your record, that record is there. They'll keep bringing it out. So they'll start monitoring you. Once the child has an issue in school, the child maybe is very quiet, it will boil down to the parents. The child is loud, it will boil down to the parents. The child is not communicating it will boil down to the parents. The parents are not doing a good job. And then you will see that such children will be sent to special needs schools, correctional schools, where they put children with bad behavior. And even sometimes the children will be taken away from the parents. Or you may have a situation where they'll say they'll be coming to your house twice a week or once a week to monitor your family. Then these are the women that will come out and cry. Germany wants to take my children. Somebody wants to enter my house. They won't leave me alone with my children. Please, please and please again. We should all remember what we came here for. Raising children in this country. You're on a battlefield. You have to protect your children. Don't do anything that will give the enemy room to enter into your family. Don't fall for that temptation. I will always say it. If you are fighting because somebody is using the stove when it's your turn, leave them to use that stove. Whatever situation you find yourself in, in an asylum home, please be patient. It's just for a time. After some time, you will be given your own home. When you enter your house, you close your door and you do what you have to do. And what even bothers me is that sometimes there will be men there they will see their women or their girlfriends fighting. Instead of them to separate them or call for peace, they will be gingering the fight. Now, you will even notice that after this fight has taken place, one by one, they will start going to the authorities. They will go to the police and start reporting themselves. Not only reporting themselves for Different stories will come out. Maybe you were fighting because of a stove or you were fighting whose turn is to clean. After the fight, you will go to the police or to the authorities. 
You will start telling stories. A said they came from Italy, they came from Spain. Z said they are called this, but they are called that. This one claimed she's not married, but she's married. You start selling out yourself. That's another thing these fights lead to. After you finish fighting, you sell yourselves out. Then you wonder how come the government is able to deport so many people. How come the government has that information? This is a police state and they are very good at gathering information. The thing about Germany, if you don't know the system in Germany, I will let you in on one German proverb. The Müller der Gerechtigkeit malen langsam. That means the mills for justice, the wheel turns very slowly. Whenever you are doing something or somebody is making a report about you, don't think because the police did not come that day or they did not come that week that they don't know about it. When they get that report, they will file it. When they think it's necessary, they will start monitoring you. They can monitor your phone, monitor your movement, monitor everything about you. You'll be thinking you didn't hear from them, the case is over. No. They will give enough time to gather all their evidence. And also, not just about you, but to know who you are talking to, so that they can see if they can catch a whole net of fishes, not just catch you one fish with a hook. That information, they will use it to spread a net in the water and catch enough fishes and then they will come for you. This may even take a year or two. And then when that time comes, you will be wondering, hey, where did this come from? How did they know? But you didn't know that it was two years ago when you had a fight that your people, your own people, were going there to sell each other out. Please, the struggle here is real. Nobody wants to go back in disgrace or empty-handed. Please, especially ladies, please control yourselves. Control your temper. Tell the devil that the devil is a liar and stay away from problem. It is the stubborn fly that will follow the corpse to the grave. Let those that have ears hear. I've finished what I have to say.